Let's get started. Let's get started with problem 5.8 from the fundamentals. All right, so just as before, we said whenever we're trying to find the reaction forces at different supports, we want to draw which reaction forces are acting at those supports. Okay. So here we have a roller support at A. So we know the roller support has a one for one reaction force going normal to its surface. All right, which we'll call A Z. Right, and then the roller is allowed to slide around the X Y plane. Okay, so that's why it doesn't have any reactions in the X or the Y. The ball and socket joint at D, however, it can't. It can't move in any direction, so it's going to have dz, right? And you can look at these in the table that the book gives you for the types of supports. We have dy and dx. And for now, I'm not really interested in like what they're like, you know, nailing down the correct direction of these forces. I'm just assuming these are the directions, okay? And then we have. Uh, tension cable BC. So then we have this force BC. Okay, and we'll call it, let's just call it TC. That way, not to do two subscripts. Okay, now at this point, you're ready to start doing static equilibrium equations because you've drawn out all the forces acting on that um, triangular plate. So, first thing we'll do is, okay, let's do f of x. f of x equals zero. All right. Now let's do all the forces acting on the x direction. Well, we have dx, and that is it. So then dx plus 0, 0, 0 equals 0. So that tells us that dx is 0. So there we're, we're done with one of the reaction forces. Now let's do it in the y direction. We have dy, right? We have dy and nothing else acting on the y direction, so again, dy will be zero. Okay, remember, if you're not understanding, what I'm saying is, if we look at all the forces going in the y direction, there is only dy in that direction, just to, just to be clear. Okay, now let's do f, f of z, forces in the z direction, okay. And now we have all the forces pointing up. Okay, we have AZ. We have TC. We have DZ. Okay, now we know this is zero. So they're pretty much not there. Okay, DZ. And then we have minus 900 and minus 600. That's equal to zero. All right, so one equation, three unknowns. All right, so what does that say? All right, we need to do moment equations. So the moment, the static equilibrium equations for the moments is all the moments that try to make it this object rotate about x. It's going to be. Let's let's count these up. So if we look at the x-axis. Okay. There are two forces on the actual x-axis, AZ and TC. All right, so it tells us that those two forces do not contribute any moment to the x direction. All right. If anything, they're trying to make it rotate about the y direction. Okay. If you push up in the z with AZ, you're gonna make it, you know, it's gonna rotate about the y direction. Okay. So we don't need those. The ones we do need, though, are this 900 newton force is off the x-axis by 0.1 meter. All right. So if this pushes down, it wants to make the object rotate, you know, somewhere in this direction. Okay. So let's do 900. Okay. Times the distance to the x-axis, 0.1. Okay, and then since it wants to make it rotate clockwise, it's going to be negative. All right, and then let's do it with the 600 newton force here. Again, that one's going to be negative 600. 
and then times the distance to the x-axis, and uh, it looks like it's 0.5. And then that leaves us with one more force, dz. And dz is going to be positive dz. If you do your right hand rule, you should see that this is negative, this is negative, and this will be positive. So dz times 0.5 plus 0.3, so 0.8. Okay. And then that's all equal to zero. And this tells us that dz is equal to. 900 times 0 0.1 plus 600 times 0.5 divided by 0.8. And we get dz is 487.5 newtons. Okay. So that is, we have at support D, we have two of, actually, we already found all the supports, all the, so the reaction forces at D. We have dx0, dy0, and dz487.5. All right, now let's look at one more moment equation about the y direction. Because we, we still can't do anything with with these two. We can plug in dz right here in, the, in this equation, but we'll have two unknowns in one equation still. So we'll need to do m, moments about y direction. All right, so again, let's look at all the moments that are on the y-axis. And which ones are those? DZ is on the y-axis. TC is on the y-axis. So the, right away, we can eliminate those from uh, contributing anything to this uh, equation. So now let's look at AZ. So like I said earlier, AZ, if you were to push this in this direction, you're going to make it flip over the y-direction or the y-axis. Okay. So we're going to have AZ times that distance. Okay, so let's see, it's gonna be 0.4 plus 0.4 plus 0.2. Okay, so AZ times, well, uh, so that is one meter. Okay, 0.4 plus 0.4 plus 0.2. Okay, all right, now, which direction would it be? All right, it's going to be in the negative direction. So it's going to be clockwise. Now let's look at uh, the 900 newton force. So 900 newton, okay, that one's going to make it rotate in the positive direction. So that's going to be 900. And then what's the distance uh, between the 900 newton force and the y-axis? That will be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2. So that's 0 0.6. Okay, and again, use the right hand rule when you get when you're stuck to figure out which the, what the direction is. Okay, and then last but not least, we have plus the 600 newton force times 0.2 equals zero. And again, this will tell us that AZ is so let's do that so 900 times 0 0.6 plus 600 times 0 0.2 divided by one we have 660 newtons okay so now i found the reactions at a and d and then now all, all that's left to do is find tc what's the tension in that cable so from this equation over here right here we're just going to plug in AZ and DZ and find TC. So then this tells me that TC is equal to, let's do it, 900 plus 600 minus 47.5 minus 660. So that's 352.5 newtons. All right. So pretty easy. This is you have, the main thing. You have to be confident that you drew all your forces correctly. After that, that's it. Just f of x, f of y, f of z. Moments in the x, y, and z, and then everything else just pops out. All right. If you have questions, comments, leave them down below. Uh, 